but he's like ranked second best in the division currently. Uh, the Dustin Poirier dude, he's kind of overlooked a lot. Like he's not, you know, he's not some big name in the in the in the news with, regarding UFC and all that kind of stuff. But he's very hungry for the title and all, all that. I think that's what made the difference. That that extra bit of drive and all that stuff. Whereas McGregor's already accomplished a bunch in the sport and probably didn't care nearly as much. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. I wanted to make a quick video uh, kind of in response to the fight uh, last night between Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier. For those of you that are UFC fans, uh, or if you heard the news, Conor McGregor uh, suffered his first knockout ever. Okay, and this was interesting to me because basically he, he rose to the top of the sport, right? He became the most popular figure. A lot of people called him the GOAT, even though he had, you know, four losses going into this fight. This was his fifth loss, where someone like Khabib, um, the Russian dude, has never lost. But what's interesting to me is is Connor kind of rose, rose to the top of this sport, and I think he got a little bit too complacent, right? So... For those of you that know the term uh, GOAT, okay, the greatest of all time, like in, in basketball, you have LeBron James and, and Michael Jordan, okay, in football, some people think it's like Tom Brady. A lot of people think that I'm the GOAT of the dating industry, okay, but but for the UFC, a lot of people thought that was Connor. And my point with all this is that you need to like stay hungry in the game. You need to stay hungry when you're mastering something. I break down a flow chart, right, of my whole system. And I say, like, things are very suboptimal or, or degraded if they're red. They're working at a sufficient level, but not optimized yet. That's the yellow color, okay? And then green is, like, optimized. And I, I talk to clients, here's how we're going to bring you to green. Here's how we're going to optimize every area of the system and every area of the game. But what I don't tell them is that for my own personal, like, view of my system, for how I'm doing it personally, <clears throat> I am always treating the whole system as yellow, okay? Meaning, I'm always trying to get better. I'm always trying to stay hungry. And my favorite rapper is Juicy J, for instance. And he says, like, the secret is, um, you know, to keep putting out good tracks and, like, keep crushing the game <clears throat> is to, like, be as hungry as you were before he even got famous. So the kind of the takeaway there is, like, what you bring into this, like, from the beginning when you had nothing, right, it should be your attitude the whole way through. There's always new ways to innovate. There's always new ways to get better. Okay. There's always new challenges to overcome. Okay. No one is running a perfect interaction. That's what keeps us fun. You keep striving to make the perfect interaction, but there's so, 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 so many variables. You can keep edging closer and closer. You can keep fixing sub optimizations. You can keep fixing holes, weaknesses, and efficiencies, et cetera, which is what I've done over the past 10 to 15 years. Okay. And I'll put up the chart that I always show. As you see, my progress was exponential, okay? If I had just accepted how I was doing at any given level, it would have just continued on in a linear progression, okay? If at any level I was like, okay, I'm good enough now. 100 girls a year, okay, good enough, okay? But no, I kept pushing innovation forward, and then the best year was 246 new closes, not even counting non-sexual hookups. And it's not all a numbers game and all this stuff, but it's a, it's a good objective measure of the results that I got in the game. And I think Connor just wasn't hungry enough and just didn't want it as, as bad as the other dude. Okay, the other dude is, he's kind of like, you know, even though he's like ranked second best in the division currently, uh, the Dustin Poirier dude, he's kind of overlooked a lot. Like he's not, you know, he's not some big name in the, in the, in the news with, regarding UFC and all that kind of stuff, but he's very hungry for the title and all, all that. I think that's what made the difference, that, that extra bit of drive and all that stuff, whereas McGregor's already accomplished a bunch in the sport and probably didn't care nearly as much, okay? But I see this in the dating community very often. Like I talk, I, I look at like, like Mystery, who's like the, the guy I look up to the most in the community. He built a system in 2000, you know, early 2000s, and then froze it in time. Failed to adapt, failed to evolve, failed to optimize, okay? And what's the consequence of that? He told me a couple years ago when we used to speak pretty regularly, he said that he was in the low 300 count, okay? I was able to do 246 in my best year. He's almost 50. Okay, I'm not, I'm not saying like, oh look, like you know my game is you know like like he's he's nobody or whatever, but or, or he's not that good. Of course, he's very good, far 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 better than most, and his contributions to the community are, are unparalleled. But he 
left it frozen in time. Okay, you need to keep pushing forward. You need to keep constantly being hungry. Keep looking for new angles, new innovations, new optimizations. Okay, you have to stay hungry. That's what keeps the game fun. Any any skill game, right? That you're trying to learn and get better at, and that should be your attitude with life in general. Okay, like right now, I'm pretty happy with my physique. Step back a little bit here. I have like the good solid V frame going. I have like decent sized arms, decent sized shoulders, etc. But I want to push things forward. I want to lower my body fat even more, reveal my abs even more, build my frame up a little bit more, right? So it's it's good to like continue to push towards new goals. Once you reach certain accomplishments or certain goals, you push towards new ones. Okay. I hit my original goal in the game was to hit 100 girls. I thought that was an impossible lifetime mark to, to hit and but it's all relative right like when I was at three lay count going to my third year of college I've been with three girls and now it's uh 1311 but when I was going into my third year of college with three girls there was this girl that I really liked and she had been with nine people I found out and that really really bothered me and I was like how do you be with nine people right like it bothered me for months I was like how do you sleep with nine different people but anyways I hit that hundred mark goal and then as I started progressing, progressing, I hit the, I set the goal of hitting a thousand girls for a lifetime. I accomplished that towards the end of uh, 2018. And now it's more like optimizing like rotation and harem stuff. I've ran, I've ran 17 girl rotations in Poland, 15 girl rotations in Brazil. We have about nine girls on threesome rotation right now, actually a little more recently, about 11 or 12. There's some new ones that came into the fold. And we just had two hot blonde chicks move in with me and the girl that, that's on my channel, my, my girlfriend in Brazil. So there's now there's on-demand threesomes and foursomes, all this stuff. Okay. And, and this, that was my, you know, at some, some point along the way, that was like my like end end goal. And, but now there's going to be new goals, right? Like I'm trying to recreate like what Hugh Hefner was doing. Okay. Without the, the money and the fame and all that stuff, just by having value and this kinds of, these kinds of things. Okay. Um, so all that being said, like, the point of all this is you don't want to think you have the game mastered or that you're at the top and untouchable and all this stuff. A lot of these guys, like like new guys that have come into my channel and they're, they're reviewing like the history of the community and stuff like that, they're like, it seems like a lot of these guys built a system and, a lot, and in a lot of cases a long time ago and then that's it. Like there's their system and that's their system forever. I, like, I've driven innovations into my system even in the past couple months, okay? And the whole way through, I, I let the scientific method guide everything, meaning um, I was always looking for people better than me at any area of the game so that I could see what they're doing, adapt, and adjust my system accordingly. I was always constantly scanning for weak spots where I could improve it with optimizations and drive in innovations, et cetera, et cetera. And I, and I still continue to do that, and I still always will continue to do that. So when someone says, like, such and such coach is doing something differently than you, it, like, literally in almost 100% of cases, it's wrong like what that other coach is doing. And why is that? It, it, some people think it's like an ego or arrogance thing where it's all my way is the only way. No, it's because I went through such a rigorous evolution and optimization process that if I found anything better, I would have adapted the system. And I'm still ready to adapt the system at any time, but people aren't showing me better ways of doing things in the, in the past few years. Okay, Alex from Playing With Fire showed me some stuff with online and texting that I, that, that was one of the last times that, you know, and that's why we, we became such good friends is because I saw someone actually bringing new value to the community where a lot of the coaches are just dragging everything back. RSD set people back like fucking 50 years, okay, in, in their dating results. It's just, it's been like a, a personal crusade to like fix all the people that they fucked up, okay, or the, all the lives they ruined. And w kind of where I'm going with all this is like, you know, the re the reason why my system is the best, okay, it doesn't matter that I have fucking 12K subs, who gives a shit? It's not, it's, it doesn't correlate to your results. Um, and that's because most of my videos are demonetized and I was late to the YouTube game and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But um, the reason why my system is the best is because so much rigorous optimization went into it and because I always stayed hungry and continued to try to improve it, okay? I had a guy on my mentorship call the other day. He said, hey, I read Corey Wayne's book, Okay, the three percent man. Okay, and my my thoughts on Corey Wayne is just look at that guy for five seconds, watch him talk for five seconds on any of his videos, and I can tell you, matter of fact, that there's no fucking way he's banging hot chicks. Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne. If you're struggling in your personal or professional life, 
I'd like to give you both of my best-selling self-help books for free so you can start turning things around right now. Okay, and I don't know much about his technical game, but the things I've heard are like way off. Okay, this guy in my mentorship said in, the, in Corey Wayne's book, The 3% Man, he says you shouldn't set the next date while you're in person. Okay, and I fully disagree with that. I tell guys, like after you hook up with a chick on the first date or the second date or whatever, by the end of that current date, you want to set plans for the next date because the, because the vibe is, is solid at that point. You can answer objections and you can set an exact day, time and location, okay, day, time and activity. And then it's out of the way. You don't have to start from scratch over text. You don't have to be like, hey, how's your day? Hey, what's up? Okay, because at any point over text now, she can stall and now you're playing damage control. Now you're digging yourself out of a hole. There's this whole power dynamic over text where you want to keep things minimal and you don't want to have to put her to compliance tests over text that you could have done in person and got almost a for sure yes. Okay, so Corey, Rain is, Corey Wayne is definitively wrong there. I just gave you the technical explanation why. And I also said to that student, you know, his 3% man uh, book title is, is fitting because to me, he looks like 3% of a man. My first book, How to Be a 3% Man, will teach you pick up dating and relationship secrets to get an ex back, attract your dream lover, or to improve a failing relationship. Like that, that's the truth. He's going to get roasted at some point. He's like 400,000 subs. Doesn't know what the fuck he's doing with, with chicks. It, it, it really pisses me off, to be honest. It, you have so many fucking clowns that came in and made a mockery, mockery of this game. There's like almost, besides me and Alex from Playing With Fire, there's almost zero guys talking about technical game and outer game and strategy and all this stuff. It's just turned into cash grabs and internet marketing and, and fucking clowns like Tyler Durden, okay, Owen Cook, and these other fucking assholes, Fat Slob, Derek Moneyberg, okay, coming in with a plan to extract as much money as possible and, and leave your, your whole life destroyed. And then just fucking total beta losers that aren't slamming hot chicks, okay, that, that just fucking, you know, act like the authority and, and mislead guys a whole bunch more, like Corey Wayne, okay, and a lot of these big channels in the niche haven't even hit 100 girls yet, and I'm, I'm going to have to burn some, some friendship bridges and, and expose some screenshots and things like that of, of the lay count of some of these guys that they told me personally. And then you guys can do with that information what you wish. It'll probably be the same defense, you know, that you guys give for Todd's girlfriend. Oh, it's fine that Todd's with a five uh, because her personality must be a 10 because we think Todd is cool and we've spent a lot of time watching Todd's content or buying his programs or whatever. And it, we can't uh, come to terms with the fact that, that he's with an average girl that even a guy with zero game could pull a better girl than that, okay? And, and this is supposed to be one of the best gurus in the world, okay? He's proclaiming at dating. So for him to have a baby with this ugly fucking piece of trash and date her for six years, she must have a 10 personality, okay? Let's not bring into the discussion. There's plenty of hot chicks with great personalities, okay? That's irrelevant. But now, when, you know, when I, when I show you, here's these multi-hundred thousand sub-channels that you guys, of these coaches you guys worship. He hasn't been with 100 girls yet. Here's the screenshot proof. Oh, well, who cares about how many girls he's been with? I'm sure his game's great. Okay. Yeah, and it's the same thing with... Uh, you know, there's probably great poker players who don't win very much money, okay, in the, in the tournaments, but they're great. And there's probably, what does it even mean to be great at poker if you're not winning lots of money? Okay, the best poker players are the ones with tens of millions of dollars in tournament lifetime winnings, okay, in cash game lifetime winnings. In chess, your, your ELO score and, and these different things about, you know, how many games you're winning and all this stuff. That's what defines the skill, your record in the UFC, like, you know, in the NBA points per game and total points and how many championships you've won, all this stuff. If a guy hasn't been 100 girls, he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. He's not an authority yet. He's not. He doesn't have enough experience or skill to be teaching. It's just plain simple. Okay, and you guys have been brainwashed to like hate on lots of results in the game. Oh yeah, you're just a lay count guy. You're that weird guy that gets really, really good results that bangs tons of hot girls. We're gonna go with this fucking uh, three percent man guy, okay? Who probably hasn't even hit double digits yet. Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne. If you're struggling in your personal or professional life, because he, you know, because his marketing is better, and it's like, I, the reason I do so many of these exposed videos is so many of your heroes are fucking huge losers or, or huge scammers, right? And 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 then like I get all these emails like, oh, you woke me up, like I've I've wasted all these years, like. Yeah, I've talked to thousands of, of situations where guys were like that. You know how many times I've heard a guy get on the phone with me and say, hey, I got really good at game from RSD. Zero. 
Okay, surprise, surprise. Yet they're the most popular company in the industry. Okay, um, I'm off with my chick to do some fun shit on a Sunday. We've got two new girls scheduled tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe below if you have not already. Sign up for my mentorship uh, free 30 minute call if you're interested in, in actually getting very, very good. I, I know this game inside out. I've pretty much seen and done everything <clears throat> and I can optimize your game very quickly and give you the dating life of your dreams within a matter of a month and then you can repeat that for life. So don't do not delay. Sign up for that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.